Welcome to the STLP Level 1 Judge Crash Course. In the next few minutes, you'll learn everything you need to feel confident and ready to provide great feedback to Kentucky's most creative student innovators. Whether this is your first time judging or your 10th, your role is critical to helping students grow their ideas. Level 1 is where every STLP project team cranks up their creativity, presents their ideas outside of their district, and shares the ideas they've been developing since the start of the school year. Students aren't showing finished products yet. They're presenting their concept and their plan in the hopes that your team of judges will advance their project to Level 2 at State. At Level 1, each student team meets with your small team of judges in a Google Meet. Your fellow judges will be connecting from various locations around the state and hearing from a handful of project teams throughout the morning of regionals. Those project teams will walk through seven guiding questions to explain their project idea using the means they find the most helpful. Don't worry, ahead of the Level 1 Regionals event, STLP will provide you with all the meet links, handle the scheduling of all the teams, and provide you with digital resources for collecting and submitting feedback. Your role isn't to pick a single winner. It's to help every team get better. You'll use a rubric to score their responses, but your comments are what matter most. Those comments guide students towards stronger, clearer, and more impactful projects when they move on to Level 2. Now we'll take a look at the foundations students will use to build their Level 1 presentations, the seven guiding questions. The seven guiding questions make up the STLP Project Planner and the Level 1 Scoring Guide. Plus, they connect directly to Kentucky's Academic Standards for Technology. In crafting responses to the seven guiding questions, students are thinking through and then describing how they're growing as digital learners. Let's take a quick tour. Empowered learners, what challenge, issue, or question are they trying to solve? You're listening for clarity and relevance. Is there a real problem or need? Digital citizens, how will they use information and media responsibly, safely, and positively? Look for awareness of ethics, safety, and respect online. Knowledge constructors, what technology tools will they use to bring the project to life? They might mention devices, software, or creative apps. Innovative designers, what will the project actually do to address the challenge? This is where the idea becomes a plan, their how. Computational thinkers, what outcomes will they measure to prove the project works? Do they have a way to show impact, even at a small scale? Creative communicators, how will they tell the world about their project? Maybe through video, a website, social media, or a school event. Global collaborators, who will they work with to make the project stronger? Students, teachers, community partners, or experts? Collaboration is key. Judge teams will work together to assign a score for each of the main sections on the Level 1 Scoring Guide. You'll use the same guide students use to prepare, so there shouldn't be any surprises for them. Each section of the Scoring Guide connects directly to those seven guiding questions, showing how well the team explained their idea, plan, and purpose. A word of advice. Don't get lost in the numbers. Your scores simply guide the feedback. When in doubt, focus on what students did well and what can make their project stronger. Remember, numbers don't inspire students, but your comments and feedback absolutely do. A strong judge leaves comments that are specific, meaningful, and kind. To make the feedback process easier, we provide judges with some targeted feedback categories. Greatest strengths, hungry for more, and clarifying confusion. Lastly, there's the general comment section, where judges share additional specific, meaningful, and kind feedback you believe would be constructive and useful. Remember, one great comment is better than three generic ones. After hearing all your assigned presentations, your team of judges will collaborate to decide whether each project is on track, meaning they're ready to advance to level two, not yet, meaning the project is off to a good start but needs a little focused attention, or reboot. The team needs to pause, start over, and try again next year. The majority of teams will likely be on track. Some will be not yet, and that's okay. Those teams get to take your feedback, make improvements, and resubmit during the second chance window. A total reboot is pretty rare and reserved for teams who clearly haven't formed a plan yet. In the end, level one judging is about helping students get stronger in their technology and presentation skills while also providing a target for them to aim for, competing at the STLP state championship as a level two project team.
You're almost ready to judge. Here is your final reminder, the STLP Judge Golden Rule. Be the kind of level one judge you'd want your own students to experience and give the kind of feedback you'd want your students to have. As STLP judges, our primary task is to provide an opportunity and space for students to shine. All of the teams are coming to regionals with the best presentation they've got. So give them a chance to be heard. Ask some questions to show you're interested. And remember that your feedback might be the spark that pushes a student team to new heights. In the end, just know you're empowered and encouraged to make it a great experience for students. If you're interested in learning more about the STLP project cycle, visit the STLP homepage and click on projects in the main menu. From there, you can explore the project toolkit, check out the scoring guides and resources, and review instructions we've shared with everyone. Thank you for volunteering your time, your care, and your expertise. You're helping grow Kentucky's next generation of tech leaders and creative thinkers. See you at regionals!